Here we are for factoring a multivariant, it's a 4.5 topic, multivariant polynomial by grouping, problem type 2. Now the issue with this topic is that when I cut it in half, I do not have anything in common on this side, so I'm left with the same two terms, bring down my minus sign, I do not have, well, I have an x in common here on this side, which will give me 24 and a negative v. But what is in this parentheses does not match what is in this parentheses, which means that the terms may not have been, not that they may, but they are not in the correct order above. So you need to rearrange the terms. How do you rearrange the terms? You keep the first one the same, always, and then you rearrange the others. So you obviously do not want to have that next to it because that was the problem the last time, right? So you definitely want to have negative 24x next or positive xv next, okay? Um, how do you choose? Choose one that has something in common with 8x squared. And it really doesn't matter which one you choose as long as you choose one that has something in common with 8x squared. I noticed that 8 and 24 can both be divided by 8, so I'm going to choose that one to go next. Now what we have to do is we have to write the next terms over here. If I write, now I chose, I this one had to come down. I chose to put this one here and that's okay. The problem is, is the last two terms. Is it going to be the negative 3v plus the xv or is it going to be the positive xv first and then the negative 3v? We won't know until we do the grouping part of the problem. So if I group this, and this side has an eight in common and an x in common, so I end up with x minus three. Here I bring down the minus, they have a v in common, and I'm left with positive three and a negative x. Notice that these are not exactly the same, okay? If this was x plus three and this was three plus x, they would be the same. Both the x's would be positive and both the threes would be positive. But when you have a minus, that is saying that the x is positive here and the three is negative here. Whereas over here, it's saying that the three is positive and the x is negative. That's not equivalent. So this is not the correct order that we should have put them in. This is probably the correct order that we should have put them in. So if I chop these in half, I take out the 8x the left side has in common. I'm left with x minus 3. I bring down my plus sign, and these guys have a v in common. And when I factor that out, I'm left with x minus 3. Now the two sides do have something in common, and that leaves me with 8x plus v. And that is the factorization of the problem. So you may do this problem wrong, a couple of times before you actually are able to get it right and that is completely normal okay so just keep that in mind that that's just the way it works okay